the Mean Girl situation, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about that uh, tonight on the report from Togo Mountain. Stick around and listen. Labor in trouble. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a crisis in the Labor Party, so we should exploit it here on the right. Absolutely. There is the Mean Girl situation. Obviously, recently there was the death of uh, Miss Kitching, uh, who was actually a, um, a Labor... Um, uh, she was probably more of a centrist, I would say, and she was somebody who kept the door open to conservatives and was interested in working with the crossbench and things like this. So she was basically one of the few decent Labor people. So it's very sad that she passed away. Obviously, from the freedom and anti-vax movement, there was talk that, you know, could it be because she was 52 when she passed away, could it be the vax that played a, a factor in her death? That's possible. Uh, obviously, it's possible also with Shane Warne, you know, even though there are rumours coming out about Shane Warne that he was somebody who took a lot of uh, Viagra. Um, so maybe that played a part as well. So we, we can't be sure of what killed these people. But uh, one of the uh, situ uh, one of the things that has come out that uh, about Kitching is that she was extremely uh, bullied uh, and was basically being bullied out of the Labor Party um, by the Mean Girls, which is um, Wong, Keneally, and Gallagher, which is like a little cabal, and they use the word uh, uh, cabal, which I thought was interesting uh, within the Labor Party. I mean, obviously uh, Penny Wong. Um, is without a doubt one of the most revolting people in Australian politics. Um, she is absolutely uh, intolerable of anybody who has a different opinion to her. I mean, obviously, um, you know, and she's just re almost revolting on every level. Clearly, she's going to sell Australia out to uh, China and she's going to sell Australia out to, um, you know, the woke agenda and everything, and she won't broker her. It'd be the biggest disaster to Australia ever if that woman became the uh, foreign minister. Anyway, she's one of the main bullies within the Labor Party federally, uh, and they were bullying this woman, uh, basically drumming her out of the Labor Party. Uh, and and it's absolutely shocking and look you know I mean there's the accusation that this is what caused the woman's heart attack and that may well be true ladies and gentlemen so I think we should consider it here on the report from Tiger Mountain could be a combination of things um, but I do believe it probably did play a part and obviously um, at uh, poor Miss Kitching's funeral her, her loving husband said that you know he thought that's what killed her you know and that you know there are the forces within the uh, Labor Party that have been bullying her and obviously you've got Elbow who's been you know sitting on his hands doing nothing about it obviously they spent the last two or three years complaining about the Liberal Party over what they claim is a, uh, you know, kind of sexual harassment um, drama. I mean, due to the, uh, what was a 30-year accusation against the former Attorney General and, and, and some staffer uh, who, who apparently uh, raped somebody or, 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 you know, whatever. I mean, I think this is, a, again, another Labor um, shenanigans. I think that's mostly a fabrication that they've put together to try and... Um, you know, basically smear, smear the uh, Liberal Party. But this one here uh, with Labor appears to be real, that there really is a cabal uh, of bullying um, people uh, within um, Labor who have been bullying kind of people who are more centrist or who, who are not part of the woke agenda that the Labor, seem, the Labor Party has been embracing of late. And it should be remembered, this is also something that goes on at like a state level. Obviously, Daniel Andrews uh, has been accused of bullying. Um, there's been a lot of bullying going on there. Uh, Somanyek has... Uh, uh, you know, been a bit of a whistleblower there, and you know, um, obviously he's got nothing to lose, and has basically been telling a lot of the truth about Daniel Andrews, who's an incredible bully. So, you know, I mean, the Labor Party uh, does have a huge problem with bullying, and obviously it's historical, it should be remembered, ladies and gentlemen, that um, obviously um, Labor thugs, um, when I mean Labor, I mean like union thugs and people like this, have a long history uh, of, of even being organized crime and um you know gangster tactics i mean this is a huge part of um the labor party that goes back in its history so there's been a long history of, of bullying and thuggish behavior within the labor party and it seems this is continuing even under the woke supposedly woke aegis that we're now living under um you know albo uh, albanese claims that he's not going to um be a, a woke uh, labor uh, prime minister if he does win the election i wouldn't believe him for a second but you know i mean maybe that, that could be true um because essentially it's not popular people don't like this woke rubbish most people don't like it in the electorate and personally i think um scott morrison has a strong possibility of holding on though i do believe it'll be close and i think both parties both the liberal and labor will realize it will be close but this whole problem, you know, I mean, how dare the uh, Labor Party accuse the Liberals of, uh, of this whole um, sexual uh, nonsense, which most of it was made up or, or, or fictional, uh, when they have this huge problem of bullying with their own party with, uh, you know, Wong and uh, Keneally and Gallagher. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. That's my thoughts on the Mean Girl situation. And um, thank you for listening and don't vote Labor, whatever you do.